Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jennifer. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Jennifer's birthday this morning, and so we're going to have to celebrate here. Uh, good morning to you all, and uh, we got a lot to cover this morning. I'm in early, and uh, if I look regged out, <laughs> it's probably because I am, <laughs> but uh, we've got a lot to go over. Beautiful questions here. Uh, you guys are doing really well here. Um, uh, proud of you. I'm, I, I don't have enough good words to say about you guys. Um, there's a comment here. Uh, who is this? The crystal, uh, crystal guy. I'll call you the crystal guy, I guess. Uh, commenting on our Parasite G capsules and stuff. Well, I mean, it's typical to have 90 capsules in a jar. That's all there is to it. Uh, Hilda Clark, if you ever went on Hilda Clark's uh, program, you really were on, you know, like 30, 30 Parasite G-type capsules uh, several times a day. You were on a lot of a lot of capsules if you ever done Hilda Clark's program. So we don't have that intensive a program because I found it's really not needed. So uh, we could go up, you know, and, and, and make a 180 capsule jar. We just really have it. You know, if you're in business, things things are a lot different, and sometimes it's easy to make judgment calls when you're not in business and and you're not dealing with this. Um, capsules, unfortunately, is the most expensive part of it. It's, it's cheaper to get you a tincture than it is a capsule because there's only one really uh, encapsulator in the country now that's really worth anything, and they're very busy. So and it, it increases the prices considerable. So. Uh, if you think our prices are high for the quality we give you, uh, then you, you don't know what's going on here. Uh, we actually have done the opposite. Uh, our tinctures, I think the pharmacy sells them for 23 or 24. A lot of practitioners in California sell them for 30 and 32. And if you'd rather pay Richard Schultz's price, and no offense Richard, but I think inferior formulas by far, go ahead. But. Uh, I don't care. I mean, I'm doing the best I can, and I'm not trying to rip anybody off ever. That's, we've never had that intent. And if you think that, then I apologize that you feel that way, and maybe you should try some other herbs, because we don't care. I mean, whatever you want to do, I'm giving you the keys to get well, and the uh, areas of the body to focus on, and, um, and I like herbs. So if you make the herbal formulas and you do that, go ahead and buy them, uh, get that high quality herbs that you can get, get organic or wild crafted, and um, grind them up, powder them up, and encapsulate them, and, and make them yourself, you know, and, uh, and do it, that's, that's the cheapest way, and, and go off down that road, you know, whatever, you know, you can, you can see what the, the herbs I have in a formula, obviously, and make your own, use the same herbs, I, I mean, I'm, I don't really care. The big issue is uh, detoxification and that focus and the areas of the body to focus on and whatever we can find the best of the best of the best. I mean, that's all my concern has ever been. I think that, uh, you know, years ago, before I started making my own formulas, I had a few here and there, but I was using other people's formulas and that's what was discouraging. If you're you like me and you tear into things and you tear things apart and you 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 want to know why and you want to know which is the best and you 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 have no no motive other than to affect a, a remedy to affect your regeneration then nothing else matters i've never had any other thought uh we're not rich i drive a pickup truck so yeah all right i don't know how some of these guys make so much money but they certainly do uh, all right, so uh, let's go on with the good stuff here. And uh, Nidzi, beautiful reply, sweetheart. Uh, thank you so much for that. You asked me what things make me happy. I thought that was an interesting question. I've never really, you know, thought about that that way. I've tried to get me out of the picture, but uh, God, the only real thing besides you guys. God is the key to me, totally. I'm a supreme being man, 100%, in every way, shape, or form. That's why I labeled my uh, herbal formulas God's Herbs. I uh, got a lot of flack over that, 
And a lot of health food stores wouldn't take our herbs because they thought it was too uh, religious thinking. And there's not a religious thinking bone in my body. I'm spiritual. So it, it, it's, um, it, it's just the way it is. So we're changing the name to match the, uh, you know, the um, health club. But, um, and you'll still see on the bottom, made by God's herbs. Because I'm, I'm a super respect the supreme being in every way you can imagine. I was sent here that way, and I just have a profound love for that, the essence of all things, and that includes all of you. So that's what makes me happy. Everything else is way downhill from there. Uh, Out-of-potty travels are kind of cool. I mean, instead of being restricted to one small little planet and one small little body, it's fun to, to fly, if you will. Now, this question was, I'm getting blood in the urine. Thanks for the question, dear one. I love you, too. I am getting blood in the urine that was seen from lab work. Okay, so you're breaking down your kidneys here, especially if it's bright red. You know you're breaking down your kidneys. And that's what's going on out there. And, of course, you know what breaks down kidneys are acids. Well, the kidney is just a bunch of cells with a lymph system in it, too. So a lot of people are getting cysts on the kidneys and bladders. And, and uh, you know, it's just it's just... People's lymph systems, and I think you're all seeing this, are, are just really in bad shape. And we just can no longer, because of the sake of corporations and entities that are in it for the money, we can't continue to, to, to have lies circulate. It's time that people get real, get honest, uh, get to the core truth of things, and live in that side of life. Because truth is, the, is really the key to everything. Uh, three urine samples showed urine and blood with loss of red blood cells. My red blood cells are low. Now, I've got a bleeding formula. And that's why I made that. That's why the herbs are so cool. Uh, I've got a bleeding formula, and I made that for internal bleeding. So hop up on that if you can, or get the herbs like that, however you choose. But uh, definitely use uh, those herbs as uh, hemostatic herbs. That's to stop bleeding. And that'll help. But now go after the lymph system. Go after why this is happening. Uh, you don't, it's not a mystery. It's all about lymph and it's all about acids. It isn't the blood that's making you bleeding. <laughs> but uh, it is that process of the body trying to help itself from acids, too, of course. And you're breaking down capillaries and everything else. So you can use the hemostatic. You can use the parathyroid, something for the parathyroid, Calma Plus or something. That'll give you a little strengthening of the capillary walls, the connective tissue, high fruit, berries and melon, flavonoids, very strengthening to the capillary walls. And so all that be very helpful with you. And that's how I would go. Uh, you have to be careful in getting in trouble here with a lot of ways. Uh, with the allopathic community, these guys can be uh, brutal. But, um, uh, you know, you could have kidney cancer, you could have anything, not to scare you, but uh, get with it. You know, use the kidney formulas, use the bleeding formula, and uh, you'll stop the bleeding, you'll start healing the tissue, and then you're in good shape. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? So don't don't freak out, just, just go steady forward with what you know to be true, my dear one. This other person has the same issue, also high protein in my urine. Yeah, been raw for four weeks. You're probably going to see the body cleaning for a while, and then you're going to go low protein in the urine. Then they freak out about that. So, you know, you know, lab stats suck. Lab stats are oftentimes wrong. Uh, I, I saw a lab the other day that if you had 140-some sugar, you were within normal range. I mean, that's the kind of stupidity that lab was at. And you know what? That's a, that's a problem with chemists, biochemists, and things. Everybody disagrees. Okay. I mean, we have ideas. My ideas really come from what I see lab work when you're on healthy diets. That's where I see where the balances come in, like blood pressures. Everybody goes to 120 over 60 in a healthy state. Everybody goes around that area. Uh, it's just what you see after years of people getting themselves healthy. You get to see their stats. And you always run low uh, protein in the blood work. Uh, you always do that. Uh, you never run low anything else, including B12s. Never seen anybody run low anything on a raw food diet except low protein in the urine. The creatins, I don't believe, should be over 0.7. I think 0.7 something or 0.8 something should be around high normal, not 0.1 or 1. And some labs, there was another lab I saw the other day, their creatin was uh, normal at 1.5. No, 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 no. 1.5, you're getting yourself in big time trouble. So, but that's just the way it is out there. 
I went to the doctor on Thursday. My urine showed nothing. Yeah, good, sweetheart. Uh, butterfly. Uh, I take it you're a female. Uh, Indiana banana. I have, I've got your eyes, but I haven't had the time. Hang in there, and how's those legs doing, man? Mango Mike. See you back on there with the old Mango Mike. Uh, oh, here's Mango Mark. I was thinking you were Mike, so it's Mango Mark. Uh, told my word, Mango. I love the mangoes. Oh, I had a lady in here yesterday from Columbia, and it's like, oh, great food. And then you saw the guy's response from Thailand. This guy's got nectar of the gods over there, man. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll work with your eye photos as much as I can uh, here. I'm getting overwhelmed here, and I've just, just got so much going on in all other ways, so just hang with me, guys. I'll get there. Uh, could you uh, do a video on astral travel? I'll do it as much as I can. I'll be honest with you. A lot of times when you're out of body, you're not sure what world you're in, to be honest with you, unless you have a master or someone with you that's familiar with these worlds and these different levels, you know. But um, John Monroe did a lot of work in the astral world. And uh, as he's written several books on the astral world, and of course he has the Monroe Institute, which uh, works with out-of-body travel with music, and uh, uh, his work was pretty, uh, pretty good stuff. Um, let me see here. Thanks for all your comments. Uh, uh, is that Miss or Mr. Sun? I like that one. A lone star, solar. Must be a male here. Hey, I'll ask for Christmas gifts here. Thanks, uh, Cross Pecans. Love the name. Hi, Kelly. Okay, uh, in common people to experience it briefly. Yeah, I mean, it is common, Kelly. And, and, and I love you guys. are so good. I just love this. I just love you guys. But it's true. Detoxification can re uh, in state symptoms. You can, you know, I, I've said this before. I've had MS and I've had... Uh, uh, all, all, all types of, of, of conditions uh, where the, the symptoms come roaring back. Uh, they were symptom free for the longest time and then come roaring back and then gone. That's it. They were totally cured. That's typically what I see. So, yeah, you definitely as you start moving length, you could get uh, your dizzy equilibrium. You could have days where you're, you know, you're out of there, uh, really lightheaded. Absolutely. Detox is, uh, you know, no one, I hope no one's ever said detoxification is a beautiful road paved with gold and then no one ever has any experiences and problems. We know that ain't true. So, uh, you know, just you have to ride, you have to know what's true, get a good feeling in your gut and ride with it. Whether you, 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 you truly know 100% or not, you got to follow your intuitiveness, what feels right to you. That's how you operate in this world. No one's going to give you a check and, and say, this is an unlimited check, right? Write whatever you want on it. I mean, you have to, this is your world, and, you, and it's a marketplace. There's no question about it. So you have to feel what, uh, what street you want to walk down and uh, what you want to buy and what you want to play with and what, you know, wh wh where's your best attention spent. Uh, organ. Let me see, sweetheart. What's your name? Is that Rasa? Rasa? Uh, if she had some premature ovarian failure. Yada yada yada. I mean, I hear this, you know, all the time. There. Remember when you're talking about ovaries? Also, think pituitary, sweetheart. Think, think pituitary controlling ovaries. Uh, of course, it can be ovarian issues right there too. But think of pituitary, that, that's the big issue here. Uh, of course, it can be ovarian issues right there, too, but think of pituitary. That, that's the big issue here. Uh, this lady here went through a lot, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, man, two times I got my butt kicked good. <laughs> yeah, sweetheart, you know what? I, me, too. <laughs> I've had my butt kicked real good, too, you know. I was throwing up. My temperature went sky high. I thought my hips would dislocate from my body. Oh, honey. 
I felt right left. Yeah, I know it. I mean, this sometimes it can be radical. But I did kind of teaching you the top of the mountain here. You are kind of putting your pedal to the metal. I mean, when you jump up to a high fruititarian diet and you're adding herbs, man, you're, you're, you're like taking the train and you're pushing forward and you're going. Uh, it's like that lady, all the tumors coming out of her nose and, 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 and pneumonia type symptoms. That was good. Better now than hang around and make it come later and slow. Get it done, get it over with, and get on down the road. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so if you want to slow up, you might want to slow up a little bit. But um, you got some great experiences here behind you, sweetheart. <laughs> I know it. I, I, I feel for you. So you could slow it up if you needed to. Sounds like you, you went through the toughest stuff already. I felt I got something out uh, in me that needs to come out. Absolutely. I know that feeling, too. Uh, I talked to another guy yesterday, and he felt the last time his, his mental feelings were out. And I did, too. As soon as I felt the last one out of my mouth, boy, did I feel a magnetic difference in my head. These things make a big difference. The same thing with acids and heavy metals and neurotoxins. All these suppressive, blocking, obstructive agents to the flow of energy. And of course, as you beautiful souls like you, honey, you're, you know, these bodies are obstructive. It's hard to stay in these obstructive bodies, you know. My eyes have always been hazel or brown. Ugh. For the first time in my life, they are turning light green. So now you're going to see them move to blue. For those uh, German iridologists out there, you got to change your thinking. Because uh, irises change, I've never had one not change, and uh, I don't know how you're going to explain that. And how do you tie the, the reality of iridology and what it's really there for uh, to not changing? Everything's real time here. And this, this beautiful soul, here's a good example of eyes changing, and her eyes will turn blue. But it, it, it might get blue down to around the pupil, and that brown around the pupil will probably be the longest. That's chronic bowels. Uh, so, yeah, you've done well here, honey. Uh, oh, good. Good. Let us know. Keep us going. Uh, very informative. Thank you very much. Unit up. <sighs> All right. I mean, thank you. I appreciate that. I have white bumps on my chest, shoulders, and back that resemble pimples but aren't, and they are there all the time. Yeah. I mean, they could be little fatty lipid deposits. I doubt it. Probably just limp swellings all over the place. This little limp, limp issues. Uh, they don't have to come to the surface of the skin. They might, if you really kick it up high on the raw, they might start expressing themselves outwardly and coming out the skin. Or I've seen them just absorb and go back into the uh, the lymph system and pull through the kidneys. Now that they're at the end of the at the skin, though, my guess is that you might see some expression coming out. A lot of people get break out into major rashes and everything else when they start these detox programs. And it's true we are radical in the sense that we're fast, but. In reality, I mean, we, we deal with the insane, like Kelly's and people that don't want to wait. They've been everywhere. They're frustrated. They, they want to see results. They want something that works. But they don't realize it's a process. And no one's ever sat down and said, listen, this is what it is, and it's a process. We have a big lack of understanding of this. And you guys are incredible. And they're uh, really coming along here. And... Uh, uh, those of you that are, want to be practitioners, you're going to be the great practitioners of the future. All, all the people you're helping, I'm already seeing great stuff here. And the proof's in the pudding, and it gets exciting when you help your friends, and suddenly they're saying, I'm doing well. I had a guy that saw the MS video, and he started helping a friend that had MS in a wheelchair. Now she's feeling better. So it's all exciting, and it starts getting exciting because everybody starts turning on and feeling better, and, and the spirituality blossoms, and then pretty soon we start becoming a much better planet. If that's even the goal, I mean, you know. Uh, let me see about that. Oh, yeah, Matt. Yeah, I love what you said about the Portuguese people and about that. you familiar with the Rose, then. Uh, National Portuguese website. Yep. Describe the military. You know what? Uh, I, I, it's just, this is what needs to happen in this country. But we, we don't have the consciousness. Isn't that sad? We're based on lies, America. Uh, the, 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 we're so bad. We, we we violate the rights and freedoms. I mean, I'm going to put this up on. My, I was talking about this before. My attorney sent this, and I'm going to put it up. I don't know if I can get it up on YouTube, but I definitely get it up on my website and on the pharmacy's website where Ron Paul is introducing a bill. And this is a one house bill, is it? 
uh, let me see here. Uh, this is House uh, Bill uh, uh, HR 2908, and this is Ron Paul, and um, he's. Um, let's see. Uh, the link here is www.votervoicevoice.net, but he's um, he's um, doing this House Bill 2908, and what it, what it basically is is there, he's having to introduce a bill. So we're guaranteed our rights to be able for you to say, all right, because this testimony from this, you guys are asking for testimonies. The problem with testimonies is that the FDA doesn't like them because the FDA isn't honest. You know, government isn't honest in this country. There's a lot of political prisoners in this country. Your mouth would drop if I told you a lot more than what's going on here. And so uh, they don't like testimonies. Well, we run a health club. We run a private health club. And, of course, you're all members. members. Membership is free. Those of you who are going to sign some documents, it just makes you a member of this, uh, this private, uh, private health club. And uh, in the private sector, you're protected. Uh, they consider public, almost if you'd have looked at the difference between state and federal and private and public. And so the government feels like if you're in the public, we can do anything to you we want. And you're private, not that you don't have the jurisdiction. So it's somewhat protected, but still, our testimonies are about our health programs and what these health programs can do for you. Uh, this isn't about MS. This isn't about cancer. These are, these are diseases. I don't know why. I mean, you're kind of stuck with the names like MS because that's what she was diagnosed with. So you're kind of stuck saying, well, what was she suffering with? A neurological problem? But, I mean, that's the idiocy of, of that. So, you know, you have to use what she was diagnosed with. Of course, we didn't treat the MS because if you treat, you can't cure. Look at the medical doctors. They can't cure anything. But you don't want to treat. So we don't want to treat. I think that, I think that shows the stupidity of the allopathic thinking and uh, the fact that they can't cure anything. And this, this has got to change. So this is about health and vitality. So she was working on her health of her physical body, and her diagnosis of MS didn't exist anymore. But Ron Paul's having to introduce a bill so we can put testimonies up for you without getting raided. But I can tell you, we've got another thing. We've got a, a legal team that's been working on how you uh, deal with that in terms of uh, going back on them with criminal uh, 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 complaints and things against them. We're, we're, we're going to come strong here in a detached manner, in a loving manner, Lion Man. And like, I don't care. But you know what? You have to change the course of the energy flow. I have a body here, and I'm going to protect it. And I suggest you all do the same. Uh, oh, thank you for your comments, uh, uh, Dugler. Dugler? 4U777, thanks bro, appreciate that man, appreciate all your comments here, uh, I love you, like I said, uh, always in the now, I just love that, thanks for your comment, uh, I love New Zealand, um, I, I trying to get Mutt to give me his 67,000 acres, nah, I doubt if Mutt will get me any, <laughs> he's a real good friend of mine, but uh, him and Eileen, which is Shania, you know, uh, but I think it was 67,000 acres there in your country. Uh, they t tell me all the ups and downs for a while to get that. Uh, but, uh, you know, a beautiful piece of property. And you could be out riding horses for days. I mean, th their plans, uh, she was around here looking for, um, when they were building their house there, uh, some neat things. But um, anyway, I really wish we knew which juicer caused the leaching of plastic. Yikes. Man, get rid of them all then. Start over. I, I, can, you couldn't tell which leech plastic? I mean, um, hmm, I don't know. That's scary. That's scary, man. Uh, Lewis, 04191. Thank you. Yahweh bless. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. God bless to everybody. Uh, the weakness I see in my body are related to the, let's see, Dr. Morrison, 25 years old. See what I'm saying? Here's 25-year-old, 100% raw for nearly five months, and I've been taking your herbs for two months now. The weaknesses I see in my body are related to the kidneys and colon, acne. Absolutely, your inability to move lymphs, my friend. Good point. Right on. But I was wondering if after a fully detox after three or five years. 
Well, I mean, you should be able to get rid of acne a much quicker than three to five years. But if you're talking about ultimate the uh, uh, cleansing of the human body, of course it's going to take three to five years. But are you going to overcome all these uh, diseases that the medical doctors claim exist? Of course you are. But acne isn't a disease. Uh, it would be impossible to eat a cooked meal. Oh, listen, you can eat a cooked meal. <laughs> You're really dedicated, bro. I really appreciate that dedication. Oh, it's possible to have a cooked meal now once in a while. Not going to hurt you. Listen, don't. I mean, if you're a perfectionist, I applaud you. I've been that way. I'm not that way now. You all know that. And I, I walk with a lot more balance. And I, I, I'm able to help my clients better, let me tell you. If I was strict, I, w I wouldn't have that strict. I wouldn't have half the people. I, I deal with all levels of people and all ages and children. So it's... <laughs> You get in a little balance helps you out a lot better to keep them happy and to keep them going because sometimes you got to throw somebody a bone. I'm telling you, you guys that are working with other people, you can rat your your clients out if you're too strict too long. You know, sometimes you got to say go out and have that cooked meal. Some some of the older guys, you go out and get a piece of meat once in a while. You know, and some of the women too. Okay, who cares? I mean, bottom line is keep you going, keep going, keep going. Get them enthused. Go back to that that fruits, berries, and melons all day long. You want something warm at night? Have a have a cooked meal. If you really got something serious, you know, it's all about levels. If you're in and you've got things that are that, that, that are going on in you, like cell mutations, like in the word cancer, that's going to terminate you, then you get top shelf. You know, you get on the you get on the the top of the mountain. Uh, if not, you can be anywhere on the mountain you want to be. Nobody's over you with a club. So sure, you can have something. You can have some cooked meals, but. Uh, I like your tenacity, your focus. If you can stay five years without anything cooked, God bless you, man. Incredible. But uh, you can have something cooked once in a while if it keeps your sanity with you. Yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, but you go to clarify this, and I forgot. I mean cooked. I mean cheese, uh, vegan meats, grains, etc. Well, vegan meats maybe. But the thing is, you get away from soy. Soy is so bad. But still... If you wanted something like that once in a great while with a salad, okay. I mean, you know, nobody's over you with a club. This is between you and your body. There's no serious karma attached to any voice or expression. Regardless, yeah, Lion Man, this is this was uh, what we were talking about. I was, you know, I had a great, I was going to really talk to you a while yesterday about this. And I was talking about car lots and picking picking out an automobile for you but I really was going to have a, a much longer dissertation on just what you're saying here to help people understand what you're saying here and um, I just did, I had to have break that up with my time here and what's going on in my life and things like that so um, you know the pureness of the allness of pure consciousness there is no division there's definitely no right or wrong. There's no up or down. There's no duality. Duality exists for the need of creation. But if you're all that exists, Duality exists for the need of creation, but if you're all that exists, then you're going to play, because that alone truly exists. God alone exists, so it must play, wouldn't you? And so that's what you are doing. You alone exist, and you're playing. Think of Michael the movie. He was playing, but his love for the allness of all life, the supreme being, which is everything together was always there but play have fun detach for the sake of creation and what for the sake of the drama who cares if you're detached it doesn't matter the outcome and that's the point and the more you work in the now and the more you're detached then duality disappears it is what it is whatever happens happens and that's just what happens 
But if you sit back and look at this, it all happens for the good and, 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 and the best of all. If you notice, and I see this in a lot of positive thinkers, you know, uh, everything happens to you when it's in the interest of the whole. And this is always true. So whenever you're doing something, if it's good for all or the majority, it will happen. But if it's just good for you and it's going to hurt someone else, it generally doesn't happen. So it's just that sort of thing, you know. Hey, Dr. Morris, I was wondering, I'm eating nothing but fruits and some veggies. Hey, right. And uh, I do juices but no supplements. I feel much better than I did. I have a question, though. Right now I live with my father and little sister, and I mostly try to get my father to go raw. He eats nothing but bread's meat. The question he has is, uh, he doesn't want people to tell him what to eat. Is there any way, especially his own kids, right? Is there any way to get him to convert to health and not destruction? Ryan. Nope. Nothing. It has to come within him. He has to be, he has to uh, sometimes have a butt whooping, you know, stroke, heart attack, something like that. And then he, you know, can wake up and sometimes it still doesn't wake him up. Uh, you know what, be a Johnny Appleseed, my friend. You know, just uh, do it yourself and, you know, drop, drop little things once in a while. You know, I think the Zen technique's pretty cool. You know, just little statements that get them to stop and think a minute. You know, like uh, when he's eating something, say, you like that dead animal? You know, you just use little, 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 little things that, not to jab them, but, but, but to, to get them to look at what they're doing. You know, to zen them. Uh, like the, like the, the one saying that uh, tie two birds together and even though they have four wings, they cannot fly. You know, things like that. That, that, that stop the consciousness to, 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 to shatter, to stop and, and observe because thought is, is invading people and they're lost in thought. They're lost in desires and thought processes and so when you can get them to pull out of the thinking and get more in the uh, then they take those blinders off for a minute and and helps lift them up and sometimes you just have to do that. He might never be uh, healthy in this lifetime and you just can't care. You're your own soul. Your family only supplied your body for you. You're you're the the traveler here. Uh, none of my family, even my sister, kind of, but uh, none of my family really got into this well. Uh, so, but they're all under the ground except my sister. How come if I do grape diet I gain weight? What is the purpose? Well, honey, I love you too, life regenerator. Thanks, Betty. Uh, you know. You gain weight when you're too acidic, I can tell you, especially in the rehydration process, and we've talked about this before. And I, especially some of the overweight people, they can come in here and start to do raw, and they actually uh, gain weight. This is water weight. You can't gain fat with this, uh, but you gain water. And if you'll notice, those people that are not losing weight and are really trying hard, if you'll notice, your body's reshaping itself. You actually won't, the weight will be up there, but you're actual, you'll see your dimensions changing. Your waist, your, your chest, everything will change in dimension. Your fat cells will shrink, everything, but you will be holding water. And that's just uh, the nature of beast in a highly acidic environment. And what I'm seeing in some of your questions, Life Regenerator, you, you, you've got some, you know, some chronic things going on. I think it was you when it was glaucoma or something and a whole list of things. So, yeah, hang in there, man. I mean, you're just extremely acidic. And that's what this shows. Because 9 out of 10 people do not do that. They're, they don't, even as acidic as some people are. So it really does show some issues here. But it also shows kidneys and the, and the adrenals, you know. That's really uh, another real look at more of an advanced kidney and, and, and adrenal weakness here. So hang in there. You mentioned another bit. It came to gain weight. When the, yeah, yep, yep, yep. I am a raw almost a year, lean like a mango. That is not the answer. Well, you know what? If you get too lean, you're malabsorbed, bottom line, because uh, I never got too lean. A lot of my people got, don't get too lean, and some of them get very lean. You, you see, all, But everyone I've seen that gets too lean, I find pancreatic or malabsorption. But you got to fix it, and you got you to go in and... Uh, and clean up the body, clean up the bowels, and fix that malabsorption, and then you will gain muscle, not fat. A lot of people just want to, they don't care what they put on. Well, I do. I'd rather see muscle than fat. You know, you don't want to grain feed yourself like a hog or a cow, and then uh, take yourself to market. <laughs> uh, uh, you mentioned phosphorus. I ate a lot of dates. 
Nah, I don't think so. Chronic runs, and I noticed that they stated to be very high in phosphorus. I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know if dates would be doing that. I had to eat some cooked yesterday because I ran out of apples. Yeah, I mean, keep detoxifying your body because that phosphorus, high phosphorus will push the calcium out, but it's kidneys, kidneys, kidneys. High phosphorus and high potassium go right to the kidneys. People on dialysis always fight the phosphorus and the potassium things, and but again, high phosphorus, that's a little brother in chemistry in terms of the two older sisters, CalMag, and uh, so you'll start losing your calcium and magnesium. Phosphorus cannot dominate the human body or anything. That's acidic. Oh, uh, this is a, 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 a all of a lot of, um, yeah, prolapsed herbs you can, but uh, uh, work on your parathyroid, sweetheart, and strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. Remember I addressed your heart in terms of of uh, cells to uh, blood and lymph and nerve. So you strengthen the nervous system in the heart. Again, adrenal glands can get your adrenal glands up. Uh, strengthen uh, the uh, connective tissue of, of the body with the parathyroid, sweetheart. You'll be good. Uh, Lion Man, super love to my friend, super love to you, man. There's only one side, and when all begin to see it. Yeah, Lion Man, this is, I mean, this is how I see things. I see things pretty much as you do, my friend. I mean, I have another side that likes to play and tout and rally. But, you know, I'm like, that's why I gave that reference of Michael the movie with John Travolta. I'm like that a lot. I can play and rally and laugh all the way but and hold people accountable, even though I know it's God that I'm doing that to. But God in an unconscious way, you know, yeah, all things are it, but there's different levels to it in creation. And even though creation is not real, it's still the playground of maturity of consciousness and the ever expansion of the supreme being as a multi-fold reason for existing. Looking forward to your iron. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to get there, Lion Man. Oh, yes, you know I'm just so dang on busy. I really wanna I wanna do some neat things with these videos after we get caught up kind of with the a lot of the questions and stuff I'm going to do more some iridology lessons more so we can get into them I, I'll show you the things that I found through the years and then uh, um, you know we'll go on to some other things I'll, uh, I'll give you some uh, training in uh, how you deal with people like I did with Indiana Banana we'll, we'll do some um, uh, some uh, listening in on a conference call and things like that that uh, you guys don't mind if the whole crew listens in on I have to get everybody's permission to do anything. Uh, let's see, why is a lot of uh, people with heart issues have a large stomach and skinny legs? I don't know about that. I don't, I don't, I don't know that that's true. I, I, I've never seen that particularly. Uh, I mean, I spent a lot of years in cardiac work, and I didn't notice that, to be honest with you. I was right in cardiology, you know. I, I didn't see that. My cardiologist, yes, I have more than one. <laughs> oh, man, that was pretty funny. And that, oh, what's wrong with you, sweetheart? Yes, I have more than one. I never talk about diet. They just say lose weight, but some of us really try, but it really never goes away. Well, going back to your, uh, your kidneys and your adrenal glands, sweetheart, get those adrenal glands up, and that's going to strengthen the, the uh, neurotransmitter production. That's going to strengthen the myelin sheaths. It's going to strengthen the, the heart impulses. At the same time, you're moving lymph, of course. You're going to clean any obstruction, that swelling of the heart or stagnation of lymph or acidosis of the heart uh, uh, tissues could present to that and also any any nerve blockage in those tissues that could affect that. Um, also, uh, if you have a valve that's a weak, like a tricuspid or mitral valve, you're going to strengthen that up again. Go to that parathyroid again. Prolapsed organs, good strengthener, but always think about that parathyroid again. And uh, the blood will flow better. You can always stimulate blood in the body with a little uh, ginger, uh, low cayenne, not, not overdo the cayenne, very low with that, or chew on a horseradish root. All these things can really get blood flowing, but in reality, what occludes, what blocks, is an end result of acidosis and has the end result of the lymph system. So, and you can go right to your neurological part of your heart and go to these adrenal glands and why you fight the overweight as well. So deal with that. And then if you have a thyroid on top of having an adrenal issue, one, you don't metabolize your sugars, and then two, you have slow metabolism to begin with. So the thyroid controls the rate of metabolism. 
That's why when you do hair analysis, you either a slow, moderate, or, or a fast oxidizer, they call it. Um, so, or a metabolizer. You know, those with hyperthyroidism can eat six or seven meals a day and never gain weight. And their metabolism is up, but that's hyperthyroidism. So then the opposite's true. And then when you don't metabolize sugars and you're eating starches, you don't have a chance, you know. So you have to change all that, get the acid out because of the edemic factors as well, and all this thing starts coming down to normal. Take you and don't give up, all love. You got a great name here. Yeah, just keep going, sweetheart. Alone a lot of. Yeah, I tell you, well, don't be alone a lot of because you're with all, you know, no one's ever alone, but yet we're totally alone. That's the dichotomy or the irony of it all. That alone exists. There's nothing but the supreme being, yet there's creation. It seems like there's all kinds of things, and yet all things are one. So we're alone, but yet we're all together as one alone. <laughs> Love it. So you're not alone, Alada. <laughs> Love the spiritual. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, yeah. You guys are good. You guys are just incredible. I have nothing good to say. You're all good. Thank you. I showed my wife your response to her lung cancer. Yeah, I mean, Paul, your wife's got to really hit this good. If you've done chemo or radiation or surgery, you've got to hit this. Because radiation and chemo always has a residual kick. If you don't do this, it is a big one. If you do this, sometimes it's negligible, small, or it can be big. Even doing this depends how much chemo you've had, how much radiation. If an oncologist doesn't tell you there's re uh, residual kicks to this, then they're not being truthful with you. It was on. They're talking about it on the news. You know, they're getting. They're trying to get more people to live past five years. Five years. You don't want to have it, and it doesn't take you five years to get rid of most cancers. It only takes you less than a year. Most of the time, less than six months. But again, not as a disease. If you treat cancer as a disease then you're playing with the AMA, and you're playing with the FDA, and you're playing with these guys that, that have no clue. You're playing with, with the people that, that are unconscious to the point where they, they're, just, they're creating so much problems for the world. They just don't really, and they all think they're doing good, like Lion Man said. These people have no clue. They're unconscious, and I respect that totally. But then we like to ring the bell of consciousness, don't we? And you can't, you can't be conscious and not do anything because inaction isn't the answer either. At least I, I don't see that spiritually. I've went through that phase, but I don't have that phase anymore. I was put here for a reason. I know my reason, and I'm going to, I'm going to fulfill that reason. I've went through that phase, but I don't have that phase anymore. I was put here for a reason. I know my reason, and I'm going to, I'm going to fulfill that reason because I always dwell in heaven. I always live in the now. But then I, when my body and my mind and my, my emotions and everything deal with these, uh, these worlds, then I'm, I'm going to make a difference uh, around me, and you guys are making a difference around you, and that's the buddy system. That's how consciousness, because, you know, God can lose itself. That's why there is all these different levels of awakening. It loses itself. Look around you. Those in the FDA, they've lost themselves. Those in the allopathic community, a lot of them. There's a lot of great medical doctors, don't get me wrong. And a lot of them are high consciousness people. So they're, they're just, there's many, though, that are sleeping. So you could be the instrument of their awakening. See? And... Uh, uh, but you don't. You can't care. You just have to follow your intuitiveness. What are you here to do? What what's your what 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 what's your goal? Because you're not going to be here contemplating your navel under a tree. Even Buddha woke up. Said Arthur woke up and said, "Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You know, I've been here for years, and uh, you know, I need to get. I need. I need. And that's what happened to me. I spent enough time in the loneliness to then I realized I needed to get out into creation and make a difference. 
and the same thing. So, Paul, just get your wife raw and detoxifying. Of course, there's a lot of people that have full faith, and go ahead. Uh, JG, good comments, my friend. Great comments. Um, help you get rid of moles. We talked about moles before. You can use a bit of the black sap, as someone said, or salve. Uh, it's available. You can find all kinds of levels. Blood root, make you a little salve out of blood root. Um, there's all kinds of things, you know. Or you can buy pharmaceutical stuff. Freeze them. But it is an indication of adrenal gland weakness and the inability to metabolize your sugars. So watch your blood sugars because you can go from hypo to hyperglycemia, which is type 2. Uh, moles on the neck, you're just, you're just, that's adrenal glands. For me, we use Parasite M here and we keep people on it until they start falling off. And they will fall off. But you want to be fixing inside your adrenal glands. You want to get away from starches. And you want to get yourself raw and detoxifying and everything else. And use the parasitic formulas. And uh, they'll fall off. If not, you put black salve on a mold. They could be deep in you. And uh, you have a little hole there. Let's see, I'd be interested to know if you have any information regarding falls. I fell 12 foot off a roof scaffolding in early 2001. I weigh 100, I, I, I addressed this, uh, you uh, weighed 100 kilos or so, landing hard on your feet. Over time developed a number of conditions like arthritis, nerve pain, insomnia, carpal tunnel, fibromyalgia. Now, Anna, uh, this actually wasn't from the fall. This is definitely from from your lymph system. I mean the insomnia comes up here in the pineal gland, carpal tunnel, arthritis, that's all. Now the nerve pain, you could have damaged the, the endings of your nerve at the bottom of your feet even though they represent the whole body there uh, but uh, and you could have had some trauma there that didn't heal because of a weak kidney here uh, but um, uh, this is all about your lymph uh, and, and kidney and adrenals, everything you're saying here, fibromyalgia, all of this. This is about a backed up lymph system. This is about acidosis, and it's backed up all the way in the pineal gland. Now, that, again, that could be part of this transverse bowel. You're definitely probably going to find a weakness in your colon here, so clean up the colon, get into your kidneys here. The only thing I got, instant menopause. <laughs> oh, right, uh, sensations do move to include many other parts of the body. Uh, I always thought it was blood circulation. Now, I come, you're right, sweetheart. You hit it right on the head, Anna. Owen, I saw another site, organic adrenal capsules. Yeah, you're going to see those, um, let's see, 300 milligrams, 75 caps from Nutricology for $20. Yeah, look into it. I don't know. I've never heard of them, but, you know, look into it and see what, you know, what they are and what their quality is and all that stuff. And all you can do is take people's words for things and investigate things to the best you can and, and that sort of thing. Make sure everything is either 100% herbal or desiccated uh, uh, glandulars and uh, find out about the company, you know, because we're always looking for better companies too in terms of glandulars because you, you never know the truth, truth, truth. I mean, from a God man, you're going to hear it from me because I have nothing to hide. But... Some, some chemists, remember, always chemists are involved when you deal with anything outside of herbs. Yeah, thank you so much, Monaby. I love you too, sweetheart. Very much. Thank you. I, I really love you guys. And you can see that even more of my knowledge, Chief of Practitioners. Thank you again. Uh, 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 what is this? Uh, Truth Forever. I love you guys' names. It, says me, it tells me a lot about who you guys are. And so many of you are so spiritual. It feels like I'm home because, uh, you know, where I am down here, it's been a wilderness. And, uh, you know, it's one thing to congregate around like-minded people, but that's a lot of fun. But there's so much darkness in, in this part of the universe that, uh, you know, I see all you as little bright light bulbs shining all over the planet. And we're, we're all coming together, and the light bulbs are getting brighter and brighter and bigger and bigger and coming together. And the light is starting to come on to the planet. And that's exactly what needs to happen for 2012, the, 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 the light switch. 
and you guys are definitely the lights that are coming together and bringing the beauty of this and, and of consciousness to this planet and be it Christian, be it Muslim, Yahweh, I don't care. I don't care what your belief system, you're all God people, we're all God people. Uh, we need to learn how to each have our own belief systems but be together and respect each other and, uh, and grow from each other. Uh, that's the fun of it. We're, we're just too acidic, too constipated and you're seeing that in the governments. This narcissistic, e egotistic uh, uh, part of the mind is immature here on this planet. Getting matured, you know, there's some butt kicking going on, but Lion Man, that's what goes on. You know, but it is for the sake of the growth of consciousness. Not me, I didn't put this together. Uh, do, you, uh, do you think, this is a question from three Nygmation, I can't pronounce your thing, it was quite, quite long. But then remember, I'm an old country boy. Uh, do you think anxiety can be linked to the adrenals? Oh, definitely. Not thyroid though, that go to depression with the thyroid gland. And maybe, maybe not, not anxiety at all, that's a neurological thing. That totally deals with the adrenals. That, the depression that I, I don't love myself, I don't, uh, or just, you know, just, just total, I'm just, that, that's where the ego is ripped to the point where you don't even know existence. You know, there's a part in your spiritual development where you will be ripped to where, and it, and it also is related to a thyroid weakness, particularly parathyroid, where you'll feel like you're in limbo and there's nothing there. There's nothing around. No one can help you. There, there's just nothing. You have nothing. There is nothing. Take that. Take that and do something with it. And that something is to appreciate yourself. Appreciate yourself because that is your test. Your test in that level is to understand that you alone exist yet all things exist alone but together and that's what we've been talking about in this particular video. You have that opportunity to understand that you are alone and you will always be alone and you must learn to be happy with that and accept that and love that and have ecstasy from that because out of that loneness is God. God isn't found in the multitudes. God is found in the essence of aloneness because there isn't many gods. There's only the one. And that is a deep alone state where nothing else exists. This is creation. This is the toy land. This is the this is Toys R Us. This is this is Walmart. You go down this aisle, you pick up this, you that aisle, you pick up that, you play as you will. But you must get to who the player is. You can travel out of body anywhere, but you still must get to who the traveler is. That's what happened to me. I love traveling, but I didn't realize who's the traveler. I didn't know to ask that question. I learned to ask that question. And the same with you. So you can use that, my friend, to grow on. But make your thyroid ha healthy, your parathyroid. Get your adrenals up, just what we're, you're learning here. Uh, Self-image, absolutely. And I love you, bro. Hang in there. Take that and make yourself, uh, give yourself a buzz today. <laughs> on yourself. On yourself. You know, start being happy with who you guys are. Because you're the worthy ones, the beautiful ones. Be happy with that. Enjoy us with that. Because you're awakened. You know, after a while you look around and you wonder, is it better to be the sleeper or be the awakened one? And it's better to be the awakened one, let me tell you. But it's also good to help those that are sleeping awaken. If they're willing. If they're not, okay. We, there's plenty of souls that are there waiting for someone to touch them on the shoulder and give them the light. Yoga shot. Katrina. I've been on a cleanse since July and feel so much better. I sleep better at night. I am dreaming more. <laughs> hey, there you go, sweetheart. I have more confidence at work. My bowels are better. Sometimes I pass black stools. Ooh, good. I am not 100% raw about it. I mean, look what you're doing at 85% raw. That's not bad. That's pretty good. You know? You know that you, one can exist quite healthily at 85% raw. I mean, you know, it, it's that I, I don't have any, you know, I don't uh, judge anyone that's not 100% not raw. I don't care. It's, a, it, it's up to the individual. 
uh, beautiful work on yourself. I am striving to become 100% well. Okay. I had ridges in my thumbs and they have disappeared. I have lost about 10 pounds as well and don't have puffiness under the eyes. Your kidneys are online. Great work. Congratulations, Katrina. You're kicking butt. And that's at 85% raw. Great work. Great work. I'm going to have to get off here. I still got a bunch. Yeah, I'm going to try. Tomorrow I've got to take a trip, but uh, I'm not going to have a chance to do too much. Uh, maybe I'll have... Um, Gosh, I got so much to do this weekend. I was thinking maybe I have Chris just have this set up. I can just turn it on and, and record this weekend uh, two or three hours here, whatever the limit is on this camera, and maybe I can get all caught up for you this weekend. I'd really like that. Uh, uh, simplicity, no crap. Uh, good advice, man. You really um, thanks, and I'm sure Jennifer. Uh, I'll give this to her, and I'm sure she's appreciative. It's her birthday today, but uh, she's a good soul. Let me tell you. Big heart. Been here since she was 16. She's been with me since she was 16 and she's 30 now. She's uh, incredible. She's got a knowledge like nobody's business. So she, she takes a lot of crap, but she's always helped my practitioners. So she's one smart cookie. Um, yeah, this thing about bass and fruit, I don't know where these people come from. You know what? I, I think, you know, certainly has the right to voice their opinion, but uh, I tell you what, um, Um, yeah, this thing about bass and fruit, I don't know where these people come from. You know what? I, I think, you know, certainly has the right to voice their opinion, but I, I tell you what, um, this Arnold Eret, um, yeah, there's a transition, of course, and a movement. I mean, you're talking about going from a, a, a very trashy, omnivorish eaters uh, that he can't even call us omnivorish, I and mean, we were so trashy, we're like billy goats. Uh, eat anything, and then uh, come into such a high level of purity and nutrition as fruits, berries, and melons. Uh, it's all about the consciousness, too. Notice those of you that are very spiritual and opening, uh, you really pick this up and fly with it. Those that are not so much, that are growing, uh, are, are struggling a little bit. So, but let yourself open. Just let it go. Because I tell you what I see here is those clients that, that are just letting go. They're letting their problems go. And I know, Kelly, a lot of people have said that to you. You let these things go because the mind is stronger. Just, it is creation. So mind over matter by far. So your desire, your, your, even your past experiences. And it's a spiritual lesson for all of us, including you, Kelly, and it's all of us. You can't hold. you got to live in the moment. You let everything go. You cut all your balls and chains. Cut all your thoughts, all your desires. Let it all go. Get everything away from you and out. And uh, you'll accelerate in your healing. The you accelerate. Uh, you don't hold things uh, with you. You don't carry things like you're carrying it around. Past experiences, let them go. Who cares? They're dead. They're only alive because you put your attention on it. Remember, all creation is is just little film strips of movies. Just film, little film strips. Creation's like going to a movie house and saying, put in 1950, uh, April 13th, the day I was born. All right, and we'll sit there and watch it. If I lose myself into the drama, then I'm in there, and I'm, I'm living it. As soon as I pull back, I realize, well, I was just observing a movie. And that's what you have to realize. You have to pull back and let go of all these little film strips and live in the now. Who cares about the past? I don't care how much trauma you've experienced. Let it go. It isn't who you are now. It is why you and, and where you are now. But you let all that go. It's always in the now. Nothing in the past matters. These are just bodies. Motions, just bodies. Mind, just bodies. It isn't who you are. You rejoice in the beauty of your allness in the present moment. That's all that matters. Because the future is depends upon what you are and where your attention is now. And if the future is the now, 
then you'll have joy and ecstasy in all times. If you use the mind and you get trapped in the desire and the planning and the past and the future, you'll never be happy because things are always just outside your grasp. You're trying to achieve. You're trying to, you're trying to let go of something that all you have to do is realize you just shift your attention off of something. You don't need a psychiatrist to tell you that or a psychologist. Let go. Get rid of it. Change your, your direction. Change your focus. That's why our focus on this YouTube is health and vitality, not diseases. Give the medical profession can have their diseases all they want. We're focused on health and vitality. And uh, that's the only worthy focus. And then, of course, yourself and the glory of who you really are. So, good day. I have to run. And uh, I appreciate that. If uh, someone doesn't show today, then I'll continue on and uh, try to get caught up here. So, uh, blessings be to all of you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.